Hi everyone, I haven't been on here for a while so I thought I'd jump on quickly and give you an update what's been happening. So looking back at all the previous videos, I was talking about my marathon training and how that was going going and planning. Um, obviously the, Lon the London Marathon didn't happen in the way that it traditionally does. So what did happen instead is that rather it happening in April, it took place in October and the all the participants were able to run it locally wherever they lived and it was a global thing so um yeah all over and what my training partner and i decided to do is that to do a 10k loop and lap it four times which meant that every time we went past the starting point um some of our friends our running friends could join us on that 10k loop uh, keeping keeping to the maximum of six people for an outside acti activity but it kept, it, what it meant was is that uh, we had fresh legs, we had fresh conversation and just energy and motivation because by uh, towards the end of lap three, like the 23 mile marker, everything was starting to hurt. But we are so chuffed with our time. We did it in four hours and 14 minutes, which is a huge achievement. It's our first marathon. And to do it in the conditions that we were running in, where it was lashing down with rain. Um, we live in North Somerset, which is a, in a coastal town. So the wind was just horrific. But we did it. And um, beyond proud of ourselves and our achievement. And then we got a lovely medal, which was really nice. And then this week it was confirmed that we've got our place for London 21. So it will happen in October next year rather than April, just because they want to take all the necessary precautions and safeguarding um, for COVID. But the uh, last months was the practice and then hopefully the real thing will be in October, which will be amazing because everybody has said that who has ever run the London Marathon, that there's nothing quite like it. So to be part of that experience would be a real privilege and obviously it's for great causes i'm running for kith and kids which is a charity that um supports kids with autism and learning difficulties so it's really important especially now more than ever that the char charities still get their support the um business the diet um my clients have been amazing they're so resilient um just cracking on with their progress there's been some tough lessons with the last lockdown. Everybody turned to the fridge and, you know, it all got a bit, it was a bit frightening. We didn't really know what was going on with the um, virus. And I think that now that we're in the second lockdown, we've all just realised, actually, we can't go back to old behaviours. We can't really eat and drink the way that we were. So it's been a busy couple of weeks just making sure that everyone's got all their products that they need. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to make a conscious effort to do these more often. It'll be lovely to hear from you, but more than, I guess the more important thing is, is that everybody remains safe and well and takes care of each other. That's my kids, so that's probably a good time to go, but um, it's coming up to Friday evening, so um, have a lovely evening and a great weekend, and uh, hopefully I'll catch up with you soon. Take care.